Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of The Live with Naz. An hour of laughter and encouragement coming to you from Southern California. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is show number 419. 419. Let's see. Let's invite our friends from the other side. The dark side of Facebook. Here they are. Not yet. Let's see, go for it. Here we go, and let's put him on. Okay, and let's see who is. Yep. Alrighty. Today is Wednesday. It's midweek, hump week, whatever, middle of the week. Uh, hello, Sarah. Welcome. Come on in, everyone. The door is wide open. Hello, Mr. Bobby Miller. How are you? Tomorrow you start your physical therapy. Welcome. Hello, people from the other... Rochelle, how are you, young lady? Becky Ottenberry, how are you? Hello, hello. Thank you for your dedication to this show, Naz. It's truly been a blessing. It's a blessing to me. Today, me and Tally are alone. Maha is at the airport. Just two airports. One in Ontario, one in LA. Just picked up her second sister from Canada. So right now, they're going to LA to have late dinner and hang out with Carol and her cousin, and who came from Baltimore as well. So, we won't see them tonight, me and Tally. Tally is my producer today. Hello, Tally, welcome. Yep, what's up? She is running the show for us again, makes my life a lot easier. And uh, also Delilah is here, she's laying down, looking at me. So there won't be no barking this, this night. As I'm tripping through the open door. Hello, Catherine Allen, welcome. We appreciate you being with us. Every night, I love the every night people. Timothy Vakhuri, hello, hello. We prayed for you last night. As well as, let's see, Michelle Volusen. Oh, our Ohio friend is back. Welcome. Where you been, young lady? You took your toilet paper and ran, and we haven't seen you since. Hello, hello, Mr. Ramirez. The door from the other side is wide open. Shut it down quick. There's a lot of dead people in that place. Dolores Ottenberry Rab, how are you? It's funny, there's a pastor in Washington State that I do events for. His name is uh, J.D. Rab, Pastor uh, Rab, R-A-B. Oh, he's R-A-B-E. You are R-A-B-B. -B. So he must have bought a vowel sometime. Okay, let's see. Let's see who else. We got Washington, we got Ohio, we got California, we got... Uh, Louisiana, we got Virginia, I think. We have California. Debbie Malone, hello. I hope Maha and Fem have a great time. Thank you. Hi, Tally, by Michael Ramirez. Hey. Thanks, Tally, you're the best, by Sarah. Hello, Tally, from Bobby Miller. Paul Garland is back for the second day. Welcome back, Paul. Allah, let's see. Blessed to see you guys. Debbie Malone from Louisiana said hi, Tally. And Becky Ottenberry, her sister, said, Tally, we appreciate you. All right. Hi, hi, everybody. Hello back to everyone who said hello to me. Oh, that's nice. Fresh out of TP, back for more. <laughs> hello. Oh, Michelle Schult from Angels Camp. Hello, Michelle. Thank you for joining us from Angels Camp, California. I love Angels Camp because... One of my best friends is the pastor of the Refuge Church, Pastor Sean McKamey. He's a very close friend of mine. And he is, you know, we do a lot of laughter for all there. Toilet paper and ran. Lou, Baha, Lou, Ba, Lou, Baha. <laughs> okay. All right. Pancho, Frank from Fresno is here. Hello, everyone. Checking in. Need to go to bed early. Well, I hope your hand is feeling better and everything. Okay, let's see. Last night I asked you the question, things you don't say to a cop. Things you don't say to a cop. At number 20, wanna race? 19, can I shoot your gun? 18, I was going faster than you pulled me over for. <laughs> At 17, you look great in your expanding pants. <laughs> At number 16, is that badge real? At 15, okay, I'll go with you if I can drive. At 14, are you trying to get that one more ticket to reach your quota for the month? Never say that to them. At 13, can I try your taser? 
At 12, what speed limit sign? <laughs> I didn't see one. At 11, glad they gave you a car. I don't think you could have caught me on foot. At number 10, oh, a body cam. Let me fix my makeup. At 9, thank you for stopping me. My brakes weren't working. Number 8, things you don't say to a cop. I've got a dozen donuts with your name on them, officer. That's sort of, what do you call hag? Not hag, but I mean, that's, uh, but it's so funny with your name on it. <laughs> At 7, call for backup. It's about to get ugly. At number 6, hi, it's me again. You never say that to a cop. At 5, phew, I thought you were going to ask me to search my vehicle. That was a close one. <laughs> At number 4, don't shoot until I get my camera out. <laughs> At number 3, things you don't say to a cop. Oh, that's just flower in the back seat. <laughs> At number two, can I borrow your taser? My kids are acting up. At the number one, what, things you don't say to a cop. I'm not as think as you drunk I am, Ossifer. <laughs> that is so funny. <clears throat> All right, who, who thought of that? I'm not as think as you drunk I am, Ossifer. Eating hot chocolate chip cookie dough. Here we go. We go to food again. Say to a cop, what do you want now, mom? <laughs> Glaze or sprinkles? <laughs> That's funny. Glaze or sprinkles. Things you don't say to a cop. Looks like we were both doing donuts. <laughs> That's good. This, we want you to laugh, people. We want you to laugh. Angels camp better than Dodgers camp. <laughs> okay. Yep, that's where I did my leggings bit and it killed. I need to do it again. Are you punched from chips? <laughs> Say to a cop, can you come back after I'm done smoking or drinking this? <laughs> is that a real badge? Why is it spinning around? <laughs> oh, my first number one. All right, Dolores, congratulations. Uh... Yeah, you're one number. C c congrats. <laughs> When's the last time you saw your toes? <laughs> hey, Pastor David, welcome back. It's been a while from Texas, Pastor David McLaughlin. I've, the funniest pastor I know. As far as comedy, you see Pastor David, he's a very serious, holy Methodist pastor. But then you you read his comments and it's hilarious. All right. Things you don't say to a cop. Sorry, I thought you were bringing my ex back. <laughs> okay. All right. So tonight, the first question is, what's a bad name for a comedy show? What's a bad name for a comedy show? That came from Mr. Uh, Rossetti. Let's put it, what's a bad name? name for a comedy show and don't get funny with me don't be mentioning my shows or my name okay just checking oh i've did this club this is a this is the tempe arizona comedy club that's one of the biggest one in the country at the time it was 400 some seaters and i headlined it a few years ago Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, my shirt package is not good. What's a bad name for a comedy show? Let's see. Hmm, live with... <laughs> Sarah, I told you guys. Gas relief aid. <laughs> Something smells funny. You're canceled. That's right. <laughs> comedy show. Michelle live on stage. Right. Hi, Michelle Van Dusen from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Hello, young lady. Thank you for joining us again. Die laughing. Stinker. Death by Dad Jokes Club. That's a bad name, right? That's not funny. <laughs> See? Yeah, he hit, he hit the show running. All right, Pastor David. <laughs> That's not funny. That would be a good name for a comedy show. Good luck. You're going to need it. To be or not to be. Heard it before. 
heard it before. Comedy show. The Village Idiot. SNL. <laughs> CNN. <laughs> you guys are funny. Sorry, Naz. I've typed live with Naz. You said anything. Anything. Then I thought, uh-oh, I'm going to get it. <laughs> no, you, you're going to get it. Of course. Hey, Naz from 60 Degrees, Wisconsin. Ooh, that's too hot for you, man. Start the air conditioning. I hope it stays like this till the end of next April where I'm going to be in Green Bay. Hecklers. Bombing in the war zone. <laughs> Heckler in. Hi, hi, Becky Voss. Oh, so you think you're funny, huh? <laughs> uh, Giggles the Clown. <laughs> that would be a bad name for her. I will never go see a show called Comedy Show with Giggles the Clown. <laughs> no, thank you. Silent but Deadly. Canales Cube Cups. Wait. Canales Cups. Cubes. I don't get it. Funny Not Funny Comedy Club. You're going to die in here. <laughs> so funny it hurts. Too many nuts in the house. Fauci's follies. <laughs> your grandma will love this. <laughs> right away, you're killing the marketing here, Michelle. Your grandma will <laughs> love this show. That's it. We're not going. Dad jokes for days. Better luck next time. <laughs> Another one bites the dust. That's good. Dad's buzz with dad jokes. <laughs> Laugh anyway. <laughs> when pigs fly, cover this question and the previous one. Oh, cool. <laughs> okay. Laugh or we break a leg. <laughs> Blondies. CDC. <laughs> That's good. The worst comedy show on earth. Sh Shuckley. <laughs> Shuckley. <laughs> Camelus quips. <laughs> we gimmick uh, We going to make you pee. <laughs> Bill Gaither jokes. <laughs> your kids uh, your kids are gonna roll their eyes. <laughs> That's good. Government groupie. <laughs> That's my time. Company special on death row. <laughs> Get it, Tally? Yeah. That's my time. Comedy special on death row. Sorry about that. The only laughs here are laugh track. <laughs> Come join the laugh track. Jehovah Witness knock knock tour. <laughs> Biden Harris. Best comedy show in town, just not this one. <laughs> Dangling participles. <laughs> That would be a funny show, dangling participles. Laugh or else, comedy brought to you by the mafia. How you doing? <laughs> D-less comics. How about an open mic with a cover charge? <laughs> the bomb show. Joe Biden's old man's club. Mark. Stop it. Stop it, man. <laughs> Drawings. W Comics are like physicians, Brent. We don't pick on each other. For the respect of the trade. You know. Drawings. Not worth it. We used to be great. <laughs> Depends. <laughs> Almost famous. Dogs doing dad jokes. <laughs> Knock Knock Comedy Club. Second Choice Comedy Show. <laughs> the Horse Weenies. Good enough <laughs> for kicks and giggles. Jen Pesky's Circle Back Tour. <laughs> has Beens. <laughs> yeah, Comedy Show was Has Beens. Green, Gringe Comedy. <laughs> comedy Central Rejects. The, the Undertaker's Dead or Alive Tour. Cremated. Last hot show you'll see. <laughs> sure. Comedians don't pick on each other. Just keep telling yourself that, Naz. 
No, I think we do. We we even though we have respect for one another. I'm serious. We don't try to put another comic down. I don't, at least. Even though I don't like some people. Have I put? Yeah, I put people down in the past, but I, I regret it. All right. I respect anybody who goes on stage and make people laugh for a, at least 20 minutes or 15. Even 15. I'll take 15. Wet and wild. <laughs> Farm funnies. Just whelmed. Not overwhelmed. Just whelmed. Cops. <laughs> F-bombs galore extravaganza. <laughs> Hidden talent club. Wait, it's time to hydrate and share all 90 people. Hydrate and share, please. Funniest mortuary in town. Straw Man's Comedy Club. He, hey. <laughs> I've heard comedians picking on each other before, but you're right, it's not that much. You know, picking on each other like, oh, you're, you know, you know, in front of each other. But if you go, that comic sucks, he's horrible. Oh, uh, I saw this comedy show on the comic, you know, oh, did you hear this comic really was bad? You try not to do that because you have to respect the, the, the profession. A lot of physicians do the same thing. You, you go to a doctor and you go, man, that doctor was really bad and he did this. You don't see the doctor go, yeah, I don't like this guy. He's horrible. I can't believe you went there or stuff. They will never say that. I pick on everyone. <laughs> Penny pinchers, cheap jokes. LA County Supervisors. BYOH, bring your own humor. <laughs> Mickey's Playhouse. Did you use the words the Mickey Mouse Playhouse, Tally? Yeah, I did. M I C K E Y. <laughs> Remember that? Mm -hmm. You know the rest of the song? No. You don't? You, for it. you forgot it? Mickey's Playhouse. Bad names, hydrate and share. <laughs> Crickets, <laughs> strike three, you're out. Rotten Tomatoes, roast the audience tour. <laughs> the Chris Rock Show. The Maskers, <laughs> Fruit Bowl. <laughs> Community Service Comedy Show. <laughs> Mask, a comedy club for anonymous comedy. Mask. Fresh Tomato Comedy, <laughs> Rent a Comic. <laughs> And come into negative and other comments before, but not very often. Comedians are the bravest insecure people out there. You got it right. We are the bravest insecure people out there. Do yesterday, shown on the mass classes only. <laughs> Front loops, fruit loops, Poke poker face, late night with Sesma. <laughs> We were funny in the 60s. <laughs> Hee-haw's comedy. The TikTok shows. Laugh or cry, you decide. <laughs> Asphyxiation. Asphy Asphyxiation. You laugh so hard you'll die. Last year's comedy. Bye all, have a great day and awesome week. Thank you, Timothy. We'll be praying for you. Stone Face Club. Come groan over dumb jokes with us. The Big Bird Show. All right, let's change the question on you people. Also, this is coming from our friend Chris Rosetti. What are some rejected steps by the 12 step program? Okay. What are some rejected steps? Steps by the 12 step program. America's got skilllessness, contagious, consensual, and consequences. <laughs> Weekend at Bernie's Comedy Club. <laughs> so bad, but you'll laugh anyway. 
Corruption comedy. Laugh at your demise. <laughs> Death to the heckler. French Revolution. You'll laugh your head off. <laughs> They should get drunk every night. Trying alcohol again. <laughs> Third grade comedy. Celebrating with your loved ones that happy <laughs> Guys, this is just jokes, okay? Tripping. <laughs> get plastic surgery, new face for the new you. <laughs> I promise to puke after every drink of alcohol. Step 13, interpretive dance. <laughs> Beat up a guy. <laughs> you guys are funny. Explain, please. Oh, are you asking me, Debbie? I've never been to a 12 step. I don't know what the 12 steps are. I just followed Rosetti's recommendation to ask the question. Get a throat tattoo with your clean dad. <laughs> You want you want me to forgive who? <laughs> All these people holding hands in your background hands are making me a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> like what kind of cult is this? You're right, like from all over. This is funny. Did you see how the all inclusive in the picture? You got the Indian, you got the African American, you got the Asian, you got the Caucasian, you got the I can't Latino guy with the hair behind me. I don't know who's behind me, but that's a twelve step program. Okay, step thirteen puking poses. Learning how to drive again. <laughs> Try all the other controlled substances to make sure you're all in on sobriety. <laughs> Come trip up the 12 steps with us. Step 11, tell bad jokes. Host an A karaoke night. Play promise to drink till I fall over. Not a cult, they're playing ring around the rosy. Learning words to kumbaya. Step 13, must attend a bad comedy show every week. Oh, no. Telly, are you bring, playing Minecraft? No. Well, this music sounds like Minecraft. Nice. What are you doing? On my phone. On your phone. Step 13, community service after the court ordered service is over. It's really creepy when everyone in the group says hello so-and-so in unison in monotone. Voice, at that point, it's a cult run. Well, Sarah, I hope you never drink or get to a point where you need to attend one of those meetings. Twelve Hail Marys. <laughs> Ten days at a time. <laughs> Step nine, hug a clown. Step 13, must add lemon to your water. By the way, this is a, I have a friend who's been struggling with alcohol for 30 years now. And his kidneys are fine. And I go, is it the liver or the kidney or something? The liver is fine. And he goes, he drinks lemon with his water all the time. And he said it just keeps his keeps his kidneys and his kidneys clean yeah he drinks lemon and his water so must add lemon to your water it has makes some sense how to lose all your friends sing 99 bottles of beer while driving with the windows down i denied denying everything <laughs> walk around the lake chanting and discover your new name <laughs> Make a list of everyone who is to blame for your problems. <laughs> That's a good one, Michael. Step 13. Yell last call at the end of every prayer. <laughs> That's funny. Step 1. Bring your pink elephant in the room with you. Step 7. Kick a mime. <laughs> they should, even if you're sober. 
Sing in unison. I got friends in low places. <laughs> Step number, admit you have a problem like anyone is going to do that. Sure. Step five, tip a cow. I told you it was a cult. <laughs> My ex-sister-in-law died two weeks ago from liver issues. I'm sorry. And what am I doing? I'm, I'm making fun of this whole thing. I think it does the alcohol affect the liver. Start a podcast. <laughs> I brought my imaginable, invisible friend named Harry. <laughs> Lily's here. Hey, Lily. The question is, what, hello, Lily. What are some rejected steps? by the 12 step program some rejected steps step three discover a new cheese <laughs> in wisconsin right Delilah, it's more. Harry brought his imaginary families, the Hendersons. <laughs> What's the 12 step? <laughs> what? First time you hear that laugh, Tally? I hate it. You hate it? Is that creepy? Yes. Yeah, you and Sarah don't like it. How about this? How about this? Oh. Step to always blame George. George did it. Lighting a candle next to an open bottle of alcohol. Ask God for a pony. Sorry, I can't play on this one. I caught my best friend falling face first into a bonfire as he was passing out and dragged him through the fire in front of his children. I didn't need a 12th. I be, didn't need a 12th drum. I haven't had a drink since. That was over 25 years ago. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, I think we need to change it. I mean, that was too much for if someone's struggling or knows someone who struggled. All right, 12 pamphlets on the benefits. Okay, let's change the question, people. And uh, I'm going to blame it. 12, step 12, blame it on Chris Rossetti, people. Blame it on Rossetti. Well, and you guys send me some quality questions. I, no, no, it's my fault. I take responsibility for asking such a question. So the next question right now is, also came from Rossetti. Let's unpen this one and give you the next question, which is, it's going to be a fun one, people. Okay, the question is, things Jonah thought during his three days in the whale's belly. Things Jonah thought or said during his last three days in the whale's belly. Or in the belly of the whale. Sure you thought it was. Okay. <laughs> one hundred one class. Okay, let's see. Think Jonah thought. If you guys notice how beautiful the backgrounds are, it's because our producer is back. Tally Joy is back. I don't know for how many days, but I know for tomorrow and maybe Friday. We're not sure if Friday will have a show. I'll let you know. Where's the exit? <laughs> That's funny, Bobby. Where's Nemo? <laughs> he should be in here too. Worst thing ever. What's this thing? Well, this stinks. Smells fishy. I guess I got to hold it till I get out of this fish. 
12 steps to get out of the whale's belly. Where's the light switch? Okay, yep, I messed up. My dad was eaten by a shark, so laugh out. I'm joking. It was my toes that the fish bit. And it was only a sunfish. Okay, so now do we change the question, Michelle? <laughs> no clap on, no light. This fish needs Pepsi. <laughs> This was not the houseboat I was thinking of. Right, Paul. My skin is going to look fabulous if I ever get out of here. I'll never eat fish again. How do I get to Nineveh from here? <laughs> not sure Google Maps has directions out of this one. Jonah so this is why better than this is way better than attending Michelle's comedy show. Oh, were you around back then? Guess I eat my way out, right? <laughs> is this the economy seat or is this first class? <laughs> if I stick a feather in his blowhole, maybe he'll sneeze me out. That's that's a good idea if you're ever eaten by a whale. Uh, and again, biblically, most uh, scholars don't want to claim it's a whale. They said a big fish. Well, I mean, well, I think it was a whale, but they say it's a big fish. Why couldn't it have just drowned? And I thought my brother smelled bad. Wow, this trip came with sushi, <laughs> seaweed in whale's belly. All right. Hello, Nancy. I think he needs to lose his cookies, and me too. <laughs> I think I think God is trying to tell me something. Sure he is. Can somebody pass the air freshener? <laughs> I know I have a soda and some Mentos here somewhere. The guys are never going to believe this, right? <laughs> they won't. Can you imagine after he did all that and he tried to explain to his friends what happened? Nobody would believe Jonah. That is so funny, Rochelle. That's a funny, funny answer. At least I didn't have to go out the other way. <laughs> Good one. Why can't I get Wi-Fi in here? This is going to be a, some story if I ever get out of here. Now what would ever... <laughs> You guys are funny tonight. This is hilarious. <laughs> what would Abraham do? <laughs> Instead of what would Jesus do? Because that's right. He didn't, they didn't have Jesus back then. What would they? <laughs> that's so funny, Nancy. Oh, man, you guys are funny. Jonah thought, I think noodling would be a fun way to catch fish, but no one would ever do it. Oklahoma catfish fisherman. Here, hold my shirt. Megalodon. Megalodon. Me and my big mouth. <laughs> right. This is going to be a whale of a tale if I ever get out. Does this ride come with movies? Oh, I've got a real fish story now. Jonah thought, what a weird Uber. <laughs> my mom's going to kill me if this fish doesn't. I should have listened to God the first time. Well, I'm a blubbering idiot. <laughs> he is now. I need the whale parted this time. <laughs> hello. Hello. Anybody else is in here? Okay. We forgot to hydrate and share. All right. All 83 people share, please. Where's the flight attendant when you need one? Yes. I asked for an Uber ride. Jonah, next time I'm paying for first class. I've never felt so sick in my life. What's Peter, Paul, and Mary doing here? <laughs> this is bigger than my apartment. That's funny. Where's my hairbrush? Oh, where is my hairbrush? <laughs> Sometimes God's mercy can be a bit smelly. 
Hey, it's Larry. <laughs> okay, we have a guest for the show tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my guest. Come on in. Right here on the lap. Okay. So it is Ask Delilah question time. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. No, no, oh God. no, I got You're you. You're okay, baby. You're I okay. I got you. I got you. You need to talk on the mic. Say hello. Hi, Delilah. Okay, yeah. One, two, three. Okay, anybody has a question for Delilah? Okay, Mama. Okay, Mama. Hello, Delilah. This is Delilah, people. She has grown. You guys have seen her from day eight weeks, of course, because we had her at eight weeks. And you've been part of the show since, you know, since we got her. We got her in the last October? Yeah. No, the October before. No, December. Last December. So she's a year and three months now. No, no. Okay. Actually, um, Do you have a question for Delilah? Let's see. And can you comment, Delilah? Delilah will write the comment. Okay, let's see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to read the questions. Okay, hold on, Delilah. Mm. Oh, baby. I can't ask. Okay, let's see the question. Uh-uh. -oh. Okay, Mama. I know. She doesn't want to be here. Delilah. All right, let's see. Yeah, yeah. See what if there's any questions, questions for Delilah. How many squirrels have you caught? She's caught none. Delilah, where is Samson? We don't know. Um. So, Delilah, does Naz share his food with you under the table when Mom isn't looking? It's the other way around. Yes. How many times do you circle before you lay down in your bed? One. Why do you bark every time someone's at the door? She's she's a very good guard dog. I know, baby, I know. Delilah, what causes you to bark so much? Strangers. When will your book on dog parks coming out? It's not. Delilah, do you ever sniff that roll of toilet paper Naz has on his desk? No, she has no interest. Delilah, how is your hairstyle? Do you like her hairstyle? Okay. Delilah, don't act shy. Come on. She's very shy. Who's your favorite human? Either mom or me. Me. Oh. No. Poor baby. So right. squishy. Uh, All right. I, I think can't afford to keep her on the air that much. Oh. Oh. Ah. <coughs> it's okay. I got it. Come on, dog. Ah, here goes the light. Has Sorry, it's okay. Ooh. Is it broken? Um, a screw fell out. Okay, that's fine. I can fix it later. It's okay. Ouch! The whole table almost fell. That's what happened when you have guests on the show. See? That's a dog. I ain't having you back. He Is it? Does not want to be back. Is it working? Can you hold the light the rest of the show? No. Go get that one and put it there. Okay, guys, it's going to be a little dark in here for a second. But let me go back and read your stuff. Okay, this we're still asking about Jonah. This is bigger than my apartment. Where's my hairbrush? Sometimes. Uh, okay, at least I didn't end up in Nineveh. <laughs> I'm thinking of writing a new book. I'm going to call it Pinocchio, <laughs> please keep swimming, little whale. Don't want no part of Nineveh. Keep going. I wonder if Moses could get me out of here. <laughs> hey there, Delilah. Driver, slow down. I'm getting whale sick. <laughs> That's good. She's so big. Yes, I found Waldo. <laughs> Hi there. Oh, a puppy. Yes, she's still a puppy, right? I think yeah. the first year and a half. Hey, Delilah, how are they feeding you? She's eating more human food and less dog food. There's, how, are, how are we treating you, Delilah? She is so spoiled. Uh-oh, why is it dark? Oh, it's going to get better. Hold on. Tell us, Delilah, what is Naz really like? He's, let's see. Let me ask her. He's amazing. He's wonderful. He's so funny. Ah, oh, he makes all dogs laugh. He's hilarious. Okay, do you like quiet moments? <laughs> uh, yeah. 
She's, when I'm in the house, she's quiet. Delilah, you're bigger than I saw you last time. Yeah, she keeps going. The show's older than Delilah. Oh, way older. Yes, we're in show 419. 419 days. Consider I took off every weekend and sometimes I was, when I was gone. So we'll have like almost in March. You know, this is, wait a minute, guys, guys, guys. This is our two-year celebration. We started in March 14th, right? Uh, it is March 16th. No, wait. Let me tell you exactly when we started the show. We started the show in... Uh, okay, we came back from Hawaii on the 15th. 16th, I was 17th, 18th, 19th. We st wait, wait, wait. We started the show, I think we're coming to t two years. If I'm not mistaken, this is, we're almost at the, t we're two years in. Dad, if we're talking about all the days, Doobie is about, uh, let's see here, about two, three months older than the show if we're going by days. Yes. All right. Hello, Mary. Let's see, they like a house of Fini. Oh, hello, Neil. Welcome. Delilah, have you ever seen where the red fern grows? <laughs> Don't mention fern with Michael Ramirez here. How does Delilah feel about intermittent fasting? <laughs> yeah. She doesn't know anything about it. Yeah, and if we're talking about 419 hours, because each show is an hour, yeah. The show is two weeks old if we went 24 hours. If we went by hours. By hours, like 24 hours, like continuously, 24-7. We have two weeks now. Somebody called a medic for that. Delia, do you play with horses? She's never been around a horse yet, huh? This show has gone to the dogs. <laughs> it did. Wait, who lost the screw? <laughs> I did. The dark side of Naz. It doesn't look dark. <laughs> How does Delilah feel about Michael and his Guinness answers? Hmm. I don't know. She's okay with it. Are you feeding Delilah to the fish? <laughs> it's okay about the light, Naz. Just call it mood lightning. Uh, yeah. Hey, Naz. Been there, done that. Right? <laughs> does this whale have GPS? I pull on something and I got puked out on the beach. Yep. That's what Jonah would say. <laughs> Jonah, red fish, blue fish, one fish, two fish. I did your research, Dr. Zoo. At least there's some minnows in here, right? Jesus, take the gill. <laughs> that is funny, guys. You have some funny answers. Quiet moment, something give your dog to calm them. Oh. Yep, two years. Where's the cake then? We should have a cake. We had to do a two-year celebration. But then we have to wait till Maha's sisters leave, and I have time to do it. Hmm, some acid trip, bait and switch. But I'll be the only one eating the cake. Right? To your celebration party at Naz's house. If everybody lived in California, it would be great to have you all. Yes, you need to celebrate two years with a Zoom party. Okay, we'll work on it, Lily. I love doing the Zoom things. Remember last time we did it on the... Yeah, I think we can do it with the... What the blubber? <laughs> Jonah, I looked and I did not see the hole in the bottom of the sea. I closed the church on March 15th. Yesterday was the day I shut the church down. Okay. So two years now. Oh, Lord, get me out of here. Who let the dogs out? <laughs> Hi, Mary. Jonah, does this whale make me look fat? <laughs> what the plankton? <laughs> I, bought this on my, I brought this on myself, right? Finally, some peace and quiet. I got married 4-4-20. I know all about shutdown. <laughs> That's funny. What does a guy have to do to get a steak around here, right? Oh. Jonah. Rita's here. How are you, Rita? Where you been? 
I was going to call you or text you or email you. This is more comfy than the puffer fish I was in last week. Why is Jonah and Noah here? I don't see two of everything. Just keep swimming. All right, it's time to hydrate and share all 80 people. And now, it is time. Is it time for the Guinness Book? Let's see. Oh, look, a pineapple here at the bottom of the sea. Oh, look, my watch. Oh. Let's see who is going once. Let's go. And let's do the Guinness Book of World Records. Here we go. News. Here's my Guinness. No, wait. Oh, look, my sandal. My sandal. My sundial. At least there aren't any dorks in here. Why is there a fern growing in this fish? <laughs> Why? <laughs> you don't like that joke? Laugh? Jonah, daylight saving time will be my legacy. Did you hear they're trying to to stop that, to make it permanent? Like, we don't change the clock anymore, and some people got mad, and some people were happy. At least there's not a rooster in here. Is this a round trip? I hope not. Okay, let's do the Guinness Book of World Record. Today is National Artichoke Day, people. National Artichoke Day. And the largest serving of cooked artichokes was achieved by Manu Yabras and Josper, they both from Spain, in Pinida de Mar, Barcelona, Spain, on March 2018. The organizers decided to cook artichokes because they are a well-known and very popular product in Spain. So how much did the largest serving of cooked artichokes weighted over a thousand pounds under five thousand pounds over a thousand under five thousand don't worry don't worry you'll be in good company jesus will be in the dark for three days also that's true just so long as they don't take away the long summer days we in the pacific northwest need our reward for putting up with the dark right artichokes a favorite of mine i didn't eat artichokes till i turned 40 i think I never liked it. Then one time it was on a pizza and I ate it. I go, oh, it's good. I really choked on an artichoke. Can you say that 10 times, Bobby? I choked on an artichoke. I choked on an artichoke. I choked on an artichoke. I choked on <laughs> uh, Headed to bed. I have a show in the AM. That's awesome. It's always fun when you have a morning show. Thanks for the fun times. You're welcome. Still recovering from Delilah's exit. Was that so funny? Yeah, it was. I found the lost vote. <laughs> okay, let's see. Arty choked on the Arty choked. Oh, I <laughs> good one, Chris. I love Arty choked. The largest serving was at my mom's last Christmas dinner. Sarah said fifteen hundred, twenty five hundred, and thirty five hundred. Neil said sounds like heaven with that. Much artichoke. <laughs> 1909, 1134, and 2358 for Michelle Vullison. Lily, 1379, 2543, and 3156. Matthew Dirks, 1250, 33, 30, and 1099. A bowling ball shows up. Oh, look, a bowling ball. If only I could find some pins. <laughs> Twelve ninety five, twenty nine ninety five, and thirty seven ninety five for Becky Voth, Bobby Miller twenty nine ninety nine, thirty nine ninety nine, and forty nine ninety nine. Those were, we miss Art and Beth. Keep them in prayer. They should be coming soon back. Twenty three thirty seven, thirty three thirty seven, and forty three thirty seven. Marie said seventeen hundred, twenty five twenty five, and thirty nine. 90 
the rooster and ruby let's see okay the rooster and ruby where what are they doing would love they're just so hungry all the time some of those artichokes those they're so uh, glutton fowls falls with some melted butter to dip in them. Ooh, 21, 77, 37, 70, 33, and 42, 73 for Nancy. Debbie Malone, 2,500, 1376, and 46, 92. I was stuck in the belly of Buddha. Fortunately for him, he spit me out. <laughs> we missed you, Rita. I guess I'm going by whale mail. <laughs> 1234, 22, 22, and 45, 67. 13, 37, 24, 32, and 47, 89 for Neil. All right. 27, 50, 33, 33, and 42, 50 for Poncho. Dolores. 10, 99, 30, 144, 44. Micah Ramirez. Let's see what he did. 13, 79, 25, 43, and 31, 56. He copied Lily, of course. I'm copying Sarah today, 1,500, 3,500. Jonah, I'm wondering if this fish's name is Artie. Then I can Artie choke myself out of here. <laughs> Good one. I choked on, oh, you did it. Good. David McLaughlin said 22, 22, 23, 50, and 40, 50. Oh, no, please don't copy me. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this when I answered yes to having a whale of a time. Right. 2377, 1666, and 3333 for Rita. Yes, melted butter to dip in artichoke is the best. Sold. Then I changed my answers. 1700, 4500, 1299. Good one. And they're serving dessert on this ride. Okay. Let's see. Going once. Going twice. And anybody else? Look at all the money I'm saving on going by by going by fish, right? With the gas prices now. Okay, does this count if I copy Michael? <laughs> You'll get quarter of the quarter he's gonna get. Okay, sold, sold, sold. The largest serving of cooked artichoke is twenty five thirty five, two thousand five hundred thirty five pounds, and the one that won it is Lily Navas which automatically makes Michael Ramirez a quarter winner. The second one who came close is Marie. She came up with 25-25, which was 10 away, but Lily was 9 away. And then, of course, Sarah and somebody else said 2,500. They were the closest for a while. So, therefore, Lily Navas, congratulations, young lady. This is yours. Enjoy it. And... It is time for the prayer time. It's time. Why do you have to put that emoji when you want? David, I was thinking about selling my car. I went on Kelly's Blue Book that come to check the value of my car and discovered there are two new questions. Are you seeing it with an empty or full tank of gas? Are you planning on selling it this week or next inflation being factored in now? That's funny. Is that a, That's a joke, of course, right? Congratulations, Lily. Score. Awesome. Michael, congratulations. <laughs> yeah, score. Jonah, I saved a bunch of money on my car insurance by traveling by whale. What are your plans for the TP you just won? <laughs> Give some to Michael. Uh, prayers. Okay. You can't congratulate Michael for it. <laughs> he won it, but he's not to be congratulated for that. We can't. We can't encourage that kind of behavior. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good night, Chris Martell. Unspoken prayer. Being through a lot, I'm sorry. We'll be praying for you, Neil, for more days, and Michael will have enough squares to make a roll. <laughs> Good night, Catherine. Congratulations, bringing a TP to the reservation. Oh, that's right. You're going. We'll be praying for you for next week. 
All right, look, I just saved 15% from using Geico in the whale. <laughs> okay, any prayer requests, people? Keep Remy in prayer. Uh, Matthew's grandson, keep us in prayer as we work to move forward. Amen, we'll be praying for you. More gigs for Naz. I need, I need a gig in this month, the end of, before the end of this month. For, let's see, pray for the Ukraine, of course. The war. And pray for the Russian soldiers that are forced to go to war and they're dying and their families are... War is horrible. Pray for this whole world, unspoken for our cats. Pray for our nation, yes. Please. Pray for wisdom for me. Pray for, let's see, who needs prayer, people? Let me know. I just want to encourage you a little bit here. I'm still in, if you have to read one chapter of the Bible in your entire life, just one chapter, and you ask me, what do you recommend? I would say John 14. If you read John 14, you'll know that Jesus is a member of the Trinity. You learn about the Trinity. You learn about what's going to happen in the last stage for believers. You learn that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through Him. You learn all these things about the love of the Father, about the Holy Spirit living in us. One chapter, one chapter, just 29 verses, and it's just amazing, amazing. You know, in John 14, 1, it says, this is what the Lord Jesus is saying. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. And then he ends the chapter, almost two, two verses before the end of it. He said in 14.27, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. The peace that surpasses all understanding, that's available to you people. You know, you say, I have anxiety, you have, I have the, you know what? The peace of God can, can really come over you and give you peace and calm you down. Remember, remember this, let not your heart be troubled. I know sometimes we get our heart troubled about so many things. And Jesus is saying to you twice in one chapter, let not your heart be troubled. Let not your heart be troubled. He said, peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. And he also said, if you love me, in verse 15, if you love me, keep my commandments. Can you picture a teenager, your kid, who, d who does is not obeying you. You're saying, okay, I don't want you to smoke, for example. And they're smoking. And they won't quit smoking. And say, I want you to quit smoking. I want you to cook smoggy. And then they come to you while you're laying on the couch. They go, I love you, mommy. I love you so much, mom. Mm, I love you. What does mom say? Well, if you love me, you'll quit smoking. If you love me, you'll do what I say. And this is where the Heavenly Father is saying the same thing. And Jesus is saying the same thing. Well, if you love me, keep my commandments. So you can't be doing, breaking the commandments deliberately. Thou shall not covet, thou shall not lie thou shall not give we worship you know have other other gods before you you know other idols you know using god's name in vain all this and then go oh i love you lord i love you and you know what jesus is going to say to you well if you love me keep my commandments my commandments are easy you know my where remember in matthew 11 said um uh, Jesus said, come to me all who are weary and heavy laden and I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. His yoke is easy. Hey, if you love me, keep my commandments. That's all. I was going to say John 16. I'm not there yet, but I will go into that. But also the Holy of Holies when... Jesus enters the Holy of Holies. It's John 17 when he's talking to the Father. Revelation 3.20, I stand at the door and knock. He heard my voice and opens the door. I'll come in. I think only Jesus can help us keep his commandments. Of course, the Holy Spirit. Because when he said that in 14 and 15, before that, he said, I'm going to send you the Holy Spirit, the helper, who will 
you know, show you the truth, will help you through all things. So you're right. Only by the grace can we live for him. Follow Holy Spirit and you won't fulfill the desires of the flesh. Amen. Romans 8, old nature. He's here to help. Amen. Thank you, Naz. Thank you, Michelle Wollison, for joining us. John 3.16. Preach. <laughs> Fire. Hallelujah. Okay. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring the ushers right now to take the offering. So get ready. And I just want to say I'll see you tomorrow. God willing. Love you guys. Have a great night. You guys were all funny tonight.